Hi, this is Jared from UEN, and we're going to take a look at the Gale research um, in context in the Gale Kids InfoBits for our younger elementary age students. So we're going to start with the Gale InfoBits, Kids InfoBits. As you go in here, you can see that they have these big pictures to go along with the topics, and when you click on any of these topics, then it's going to have another um, menu pop-up that breaks that down. This one in plants is farming and gardening and trees and types of plants and so forth. And then you could go into this and then they've got it broken down into different types of plants. You can click on the speaker to hear what that would sound like. Or you can go into the topic and there you can see that they've broken this down into books, magazines, news, and so forth. So that's one way of searching in the kids info bits is just to click on the topic. But let's say that there was something specifically that you wanted to look for. And in this case, we'll just say that it is uh, a basset hound. There it is right there. Since it was in the picture, I thought we'd look it up. And we'll search for this. So you can see they don't have a lot here. They've got two books, some pictures, and some magazine articles. So let's go into a magazine article so you can see what this looks like. I've got a listen feature right here. Then I've got the full text, which isn't a whole lot in this article. And then right at the bottom, and this is of every page in Kids InfoBits, you can see the citation as well as the URL. So if I want to go back to this page, um, I can just copy the URL. Now they'll put this in MLA form. If I go over to the right where the tools are, I can go to Citation Tools, and I could put this in APA form if I wanted to. And then they have some different ways you can export it, or you can just copy and paste this into a different document, or I can just save it to Google Drive, which is really nice. I can email this article. I can download it. And the nice thing with downloading it is, Gale has a Google integration, so let me just go into my account here. Now that I'm signed in, I can download this article, and it will save it to my Google Drive. And what it'll do is create a folder for me that will house this article. I can print it. I can highlight this. So, for instance, if there's part of the text that I like, I can go to highlight. Highlight that. I can put notes there. I can save this. The thing about save though is it's only for the uh, session that you're in. If you leave this session it won't save this for you. That's why it's better to download it and put it into Google Drive. You also have a Google Classroom option as well. If you are a Google Apps for Educator school and you use Google Classroom you could share this to all your students in Google Classroom. Now there's an advanced feature with, which is really nice because what I can do is I can search before or after between certain dates. I can put in keywords. I can look by content level, basic, intermediate, and advanced. I can do content type. And then I can do by Lexile score, which is really nice so that I can, you know, depending on what reading level my students are at, I can pull up articles that will be appropriate for them. So that's a look at the kids' info bits. Now let's go back into the reference collection and take a look at Gale Research in Context. And you'll notice that this is set up mostly the same. Here's my Google integration up here. I've got Google Classroom. Same advanced searches here. And then I've got the More menu. That's actually on the other one. The Educator Resources isn't particular to Research in Context. It would be for all of Gale. They have a dictionary, and this is where your highlights and notes would be. But you can see that research in context is going to be a little more robust. There's going to be more stuff there. So if I go to geography, you can see they don't quite have the pictures here. They have um, just a list, and I can go see the whole list here. You'll notice they don't have the listen feature on this one because you know they figure these kids are a little bit older and don't quite need that but I can go to Ireland here's what's nice it's gonna give me some information about Ireland some quick facts I can read more and then you can see I've got a lot more articles in this one 
The kids one is a lot more simplistic, but if you have older students, you know, this is going to be better for them. Let's go to references. Lots of different articles that you can see here. I'm going to pick this one. And again, I've got the same tools that I have in the Kids Info Bits. This looks very much the same. If I scroll to the bottom of the page, there again is the citation in the URL. I can highlight any part of this by just clicking and dragging and then highlighting and then determining how I want to do that. And again, I can download that and this will save your highlights that you put in here. So both of these tools that are in the Gale Reference Collection, the Kids Infomits and the Research in Context are fantastic for our elementary age students. So go ahead and get started using Gale in your class.